the Grace Life DIY home decor. Now, I don't know why this, I bought the finger protectors and it just doesn't seem like it wants to stay on. Let's just see, because we're gonna get burned. Now, I got these two placemats. The Dollar Tree has placemats. You can use those also. But I happen to be filming uh, at Dollar General. And sometimes this stuff is pretty awesome. So I absolutely love these farm trees. I wish it would have been the one with all the trees. I've been into the trees this year. But we're gonna make a pillow, and it's only gonna cost us one, two, and I made a previous pillow in a video. I got this at Michael's for half price, so it's called Buffalo Snow. I don't know, it feels like the same color. But anyway, I had enough, I made a pillow. I think I showed that, yeah I did. It was another Christmas pillow. And look at this, we have enough to make another pillow. So I said, well let me show them how to use the placemats to make your throw pillow. So let's take these tags off. I hope you guys are having an amazing time shopping. Everybody is or taking, we're not really spending very much money. Um, we're just, uh, we just moved into the house and so not that long ago when I started school and, he's, and my son started school. So we are taking it easy yet still celebrating. Um, so I hope that you guys are having an awesome time shopping. I know I have um, I love shopping, <laughs> especially since I'm I'm buying to decorate um, I'm, I'm buying to decorate my home. So every time I see something, like I'm I'm just like, do I really want that? It's not gonna stay with me. I don't know if you guys are the same way. I, it takes me a while to make a decision because I don't want to make the wrong decision. And remember, when we buy furniture, it stays with us for a long while. Okay, and if the Lord doesn't want me to spend a certain amount of money, I won't. And if he says it's okay, then I do. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to flip this placemat over like this. So thank goodness you could see the truck on this side. We're going to glue all the way around here. I'm not going to sew. I don't have a sewing machine. My sewing machine broke in the other house. So we're just going to glue and it works very well. It works very well. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna leave one side open. So now the truck and the neat thing is, is that this truck is facing that way and when you flip the pillow over, it'd be facing the opposite way. So we are going to take our time. So remember, a placemat down on this side and then it'll be facing you on this side and we're gonna do this slowly. So let's see. And once this dries, guys, um, once this dries, fully dries, it should not come apart at all. I've made these before, and they're so pretty as accent pillows. And even if I'm roughhousing with the dogs and then you're grabbing the pillows and playing with them, honestly, they do not come apart. So we're going to need plenty of glue, so make sure I have plenty of glue with you. Isn't that pretty though? This would be so nice. Anywhere. Entrance of the house on the, on the, on the back of the chair. I'm sorry, on the back part, the lumbar.
just want to because I see some glue on the outside here just to scrape that up. I don't want to get burned. Okay. Okay, we're going to move this around. And see, by the time we make our way around here with this opening here, it's going to be fully dry. I just don't want you to get burned, so make sure you're just watching that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought I saw somebody uh, doing a similar DIY, gluing two fabrics together with fabric glue sticks. I never seen fabric glue sticks. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, I was very surprised. I would love to buy those. Sometimes it's probably a good idea just to kind of hold it because as the glue gets cool, it gets hard right away. And I can see I want to hold that down just to kind of make sure you seal that real good. If I didn't say before, if you need some filler, sometimes this bag, this bag at Michael's would have cost probably five to ten dollars. I'm gonna say or seven to ten dollars. I happened to get it at fifty percent off, which was fine because of the amount that I got. So what did I get? Twenty ounces. So, but if you need um, some of this filler. Guys, Walmart has a pillow for like $2.47. Just cut the seam and take out all of the filling from in there. You can't beat $2.47. And you can make probably two small pillows with that. Or, I mean, you can buy the filling, but honestly, just grab one of the pillows. That's like the quickest uh, and the most inexpensive hack that I have uh, worked with. And my projects don't cost as much. And if this is not something I'll be doing all the time, I would definitely, I would definitely buy it. It's a quick craft, or if you're making a gift for somebody, it's not something that we do all the time. I would definitely buy it. So this is gonna need a minute. And actually, I saw a couple of other content creators that have mentioned the same technique using the Walmart pillows. Now that's going to need a minute, so I'll be right with you. Okay, guys, I think it's not like 100% dry, but it's dry enough because I'm starting to feel it. So just a tiny bit warm. This is already sealed, and we're going to go ahead and start stuffing this. Right, I'm going to pull these things apart before I put them in there. try to fill in, I, I'm gonna, I learned from the last one I made, to try to fill in some the corners because you don't want to do it hard, you just want to make sure you fill in the corners because I don't want it to be like flat.
I thought it would be nice to show you how I used to do this before. They actually came out with slip covers because I didn't even know. I don't think that Dollar Tree had the slip covers before. I used to always make an accent pillows with the place, the placemats. These beautiful colored placemats. And they have the poinsettia one. I happen to like the tree, the, the tree one this year. I absolutely love the tree one this year. And then the last one I think I showed you was with the slip cover. That was those are so nice. And you can go ahead and so another thing is if you wanted to put a slip cover over this, or you can use your favorite pillowcase or something that you know that looks nice, that's inexpensive, you can do that. You know, you can just cover it with a slip cover or some kind of cover or fabric. Anything that you have that will overlay, that you could seal, and use the glue stick. See if you guys can find out about that, uh, the glue stick, the fabric glue stick. I gotta go to Walmart and see if I know, if I even know. I didn't even look for that. I, I don't know if they said Walmart. I'm not really sure. I was watching another content creator, and um, I'm just like so happy. Look at that. So it took one bag of these. Uh, if you don't, if you get it on sale, I think it's a good buy. Okay. So here we go. Now, now the whole thing here is to seal, and so you do want to come maybe an inch. Can you see that? I uh, have plenty of space there. Maybe two inches. Okay, I move this down and then I have plenty of room that I don't have to worry about the filling getting in my way of my gluing. So we're going to start little by little right here and then you do want to hold it because you don't want this to come apart because we already placed the filling in there and might want to type the other way. Okay. slowly is you don't want to rush really you don't want to rush with any project that you're doing the city can make a nice gift believe it or not I think so you can even put ribbons or tassels on this wouldn't that look nice I just didn't plan to do tassels or anything I just but that would be a neat idea see and it just looks so amazing to me So what do you guys think? I think ribbons uh, would look really nice if you just maybe did a bow or, I mean, it is a pillow. So you could do a tassel or two tassels or just one tassel here or one on every corner, totally up to you. It would ramp it up to a whole other level. And it didn't take that long um, to put this together. So guys, this is what the pillow looks like. This part here is gonna have to sit and dry a little bit longer. Let's just hold that there for a minute. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The hot glue is not going to come apart. Let it dry. And it, this is a great gift, guys. I think it will make a nice gift. So, 
I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. If you like the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified each and every time I upload a video. Have an amazing day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Yes, it's beautiful. Let's go look at the video.